I'm glad you joined us today for Paws Up for Success. Paws Up is designed for families to enjoy their dogs in safer ways. Today we're going to meet special friends, build our relationships with our dogs, make a treat, play some games, and then I'll provide some training tips. Hey, look who's here today. We got Reese here. Uh, yeah, I'm so here. You're here. So what are we going to do today, Reese? Hmm. Hmm, what are we going to do? Whose house are you at? Um, Aunt Mary's? You are. You're at Aunt Mary's house. And, and what does Aunt Mary have at her house that's brand new? What do you think it is? It's very fuzzy. It's very wiggly. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What's Eat it? the dog! Yeah, it's Tegan. A Tegan. And I bet Aunt Mary's going to bring Tegan into her house to meet you. Is it important to be good to dogs? Yeah. You have to speak with them the with fine, with nice words. You do. Like, please and excuse me. You're right. And does Tegan know please and excuse me? I don't know. Yep, she does. And we're going to talk about manners today. Manners for dogs. Do you ever have to have manners at your house? Yeah. Do you like them? Yes. I do too. They make the world go better, don't they, when we have manners, when we're nice to people, and when we're kind to friends. And dogs need manners too, just like kids. So have you ever made jerky? You know that stuff is really expensive to buy for your dog, but I've got a recipe that's going to be saving you some money and your dog is really going to enjoy it. It works as a real high power treat. Uh, I use turkey. Uh, this is turkey jerky, so this is just some ground turkey here and a little bit of oil and some parsley. So we'll start with the, the turkey. I like to use the scissors just to get in here because it's kind of a mess. And this isn't exactly the, the uh, uh, unmessiest project you can take on, but it's kind of fun. And uh, all we're going to do is we're going to add the turkey. And now it has to be, of course, defrosted. And then we're going to add, I usually like to add a tablespoon of oil. It's not, not a lot of oil, but you just need a little bit because turkey is pretty dry. So you want to have a little bit of oil. And I add two teaspoons of parsley flakes. That's a pretty easy thing to add. So um. Now the, the next part is the messy part, which is mixing this all up to make the jerky. But what you're going to do is you're just going to use a fork and smash it all in there and smash it all in there. So you can see it's pretty easy. I try to get all the, all the parsley and the garlic mixed in. Now you've preheated your oven to 250. So you want to preheat the oven for 250 so it's ready. You also want your turkey, of course, defrosted. You do not want to have it frozen. That doesn't work real well. There is no salt added. There's no other additives or preservatives. So this is going to be one of those treats for your dog that's going to be very healthy. But you're going to want to, and usually what I do with it after is I, is I cut it and I freeze it in the freezer. Now, you can see it's already ready to uh, put out on the plate. I just smash it around, get it to the edges, and it's very thin. You know, it's going to be sitting in there for probably three to four hours. You're going to be watching the density. The longer you cook it, the harder the jerky will be. The shorter you cook it, the softer. Usually at 250, it's going to take a minimum of three hours. Uh, sometimes it takes four uh, if you're using hamburger, but usually three hours is enough. And you can, you can test it. Three hours, take it and test it and see what you think. Don't have any bumps. Wherever you've got to have bumps, you're going to end up with uh, softer jerky, which sometimes is nice to train with. But you can see that just a fork, smashing it out, trying to spread it around so it looks really nice. And you are ready to pop that in the oven. And if you don't really have much else to do, just take that, put it in the oven, and uh, wait three hours. You do your laundry or whatever else you want to do, or do training. And in three hours, this is going to be ready. We'll show you what's going to happen. We'll put this in the oven. <coughs> well, I wonder if that jerky's ready. It's been in there for a long time. And my guys have been kind of hanging around the stove in the oven, listening with their noses what this smells like. 
I, I often think of dogs' noses as like what we see. They see, um, they see with their noses. They see smells, and maybe it's not with their eyes, but they see that their scent is 10,000 times more than ours. So let's just see what we got here. Oh, my. Well, look at that. You can see how small it got, and it's, uh, it's also um, very thin and it's pliable. Usually what I do at this point after it's cooled, and this has cooled a little bit down, is I go in here and I snip off pieces like this and cut them so that they're ready for training. Usually cut them about this big for training and then I break them up. These are luscious treats and your dog will do pretty much anything for them. So you can use these for uh, any kind of high power training. I, they're, you know they're healthy, you know they're new, they're just, they're, they haven't been having any preservatives in them. You know you're feeding your dog your best. And it's turkey, so it's not going to hurt them unless they have a poultry allergy. And if they do have a poultry allergy, you can use beef or other kinds of meats. So you can see how easy that is. And I cut them right up into little pieces right away, just then it's done. I don't have to think about it. I'll put it in a baggie or in a, in a, uh, in a little plastic bag and I'll put them in the freezer. When I get ready to train, I just go out and train with a package of this. This is my A-level treat. So this is a treat that is real top of the line. I use ABC treats. Uh, this would be an A. A B might be like a cookie or a, a Charlie Bear and a sea level treat is their dog food. And what I do is when I'm really trying to get new behaviors, I'm pulling out these kind of uh, treats that are A level treats and I get a lot harder work out of the dog and a lot better response rate. So uh, then as they do it and I'm trying to get um, more positioning or direction or more spontaneity, spontaneity or quicker response, then I will move on to uh, the B-level treat for the behavior they're already doing and add the A-level treat for the correct behavior for uh, making it in the right position or the correct response. So this is turkey jerky and it is yummy. I mean, we could eat it. You can see what's in it. There's nothing that could hurt any of us. And I guess if you take a nibble, it's not going to hurt you either. I want to talk to you a little bit about the difference between puppy treats and kid treats. Okay, I have a bag that has Lucky Charm cereal in it and a bag that has little pieces of dog biscuit. Which do you think that you can have and which one can Tegan have? This is going to me have. It's, it's going to me have. It's, it's I'm going to have and this is What's Tegan gonna have? And do you know why you get the cereal and Tegan gets the dog biscuits? Because in the cereal, there's sugars and other types of grains that aren't appropriate for Tegan to eat. People food and puppy food are not the same. And when you're a puppy, you even have to be more careful because their digestive system isn't able to tolerate a lot of different things. So if you give them too many different things, what do they do? They throw up or they poop on the floor. And we don't want to have to clean that up, do we? Dogs can be your friend by sharing their treats. So you're going to practice sharing. It's really important that if you've got kids and dogs, one of the nice things to do with them is share. I'm going to... Tessa. Oops, you dropped it, honey. It's bite. Tessa. Tessa's leg. I'm going to give you a whole handful, okay? A little handful, all right? A little handful? Yes, and you're going to share these between both doggies so that they become your friend and that you're doing calm energy, okay? So you need calm energy. So this one's for who? So this one's for Tegan. Tessa. Good. And who's the next one for? The Tessa. Tessa, sit down. Wait, Tegan. <laughs> Here, Tegan. Good girl. Here, Tegan. 
Here you go, Tessa. Here it's again. There you go, Tessa. Enjoy your snack. Is she holding you while you give her a treat? Here, Tessa. Very nice job. Sharing's really important. It's really important between children. It's also really important with dogs. Yeah. So Reese, you did a super, super job. Thank you. Yeah. Sit. Ah, ah, ah. Not, no cereal. I Leave have it. To eat my Tegan. cereal. Leave it and sit. Yum, yum, yum. I know. We can't sit when we're playing. But I even like pistachios. You do? Well, Tegan can't have pistachios either. Nuts aren't good for puppy dogs. So guess what? She'd have to leave that alone too. So we'd have to say, Tegan, have a puppy treat. Leave it and then take it. Good job. See how she can do that? Watch. Tegan, leave it and okay. Reese, you can eat your cereal while T Mary's feeding Tegan, if you'd like okay. to try yum, some. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. Yum, yum. yum Tegan, yum. down. Yum, yum. Tegan, yum, sit. Yum, yum, yum. Sit. Yum, yum, yum. Good job, Tegan. You see what <gasps> Tegan does? Do you have to do tricks for your food? <laughs> Tegan does tricks for hers. Watch. Tegan, down. Oh, you see? What kind of trick can you do for me? What if I make you give, do a trick every time I give you a treat? Good job. Coco, how would you yeah, like to one, sit? Do, oh, do one sit. of the tricks. Good. Do one of the tricks. Do a trick with you? Okay, we'll do a trick with you. Okay, Reese, stand up. Ah. Want a treat for you. <laughs> <laughs> and Tegan, stand. Good girl, a treat for you and a sit. Do a trick. Okay. That wasn't quite a trick. That was just a treat. How? Let's get a treat. You get a treat. Okay. Turn around and, and look at Aunt Mary with look the other at, dogs. Okay. Everybody's sitting. All right. One for Tegan. Do a, and a, tr do a trick. Do a trick. Do a trick. You are. You're sitting. That's the trick. That's what they're doing right now. Oh, you're so silly. All right. Let's see if we can do down. Do you know what a down is for a dog? A down means a lot of things, but in this context, down means lay down. Good boy. So lay down, you're not down, all the way. There you go, now you get the treat. <laughs> Good job. All right, now we're gonna all sit. Tegan, sit. Reese, sit. You're not, like uh, Tegan, Tegan's sitting, where are you sitting? I like the rainbow one. Well, we'll get a rainbow one in a minute, but you gotta sit. There you go. Good job. Okay. And now that new diamond charm. Okay. Let's see. Who can do it the fastest down? Fast down. You're not down. Tegan beat you all the way down. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Good job. All that right. That's a rainbow. That's a rainbow. Can we all stand? Stand? No, it's you got to stand. Well, it's a no, diamond. It's stand up. It's a diamond. Well, that's okay, but stand. Ah. You got to stand. Tegan already got hers. Look at where she is. She's standing. She's fast. Oh, Tegan's cheating. She's already sitting, so we'll have to do a down. Sit. Down. Aww. And when Tegan is bigger, she'll know more treats, but right now, or tricks, right now, she's still a puppy, and she only does a few tricks really well. But Tegan can sit from a down, and she can down from a sit. Look at that. Can you sit? Yeah. Let's see you sit. Yeah. Okay, down. <laughs> Go down. And sit. <laughs> and you can do this with your puppies and dogs as well. They can do more than one trick for one treat. Watch. Tegan down. Down. Tegan sit. T Tegan down. down. Good job, Tegan. Did you down? I didn't see you down. Let's do it again. Oh, ah, that's a half down. We got to do all the way down. Good job. Okay, now sit. And there you go. Now it's Coco's turn. Coco sitting. Coco down. Good job, Coco. Tegan, wait. Down. Tegan, or sorry, Coco, sit. Good job. You got to wait a second, Reese, okay? Tegan, sit. Coco's sitting. 
Are you begging like a puppy? Okay. Yum, 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 yum. All right, that's it pretty. See, so you're, you're not sitting. I can do it. Okay, like I this. Can do it Put your paws up. Let's see, let's see the paws up. There you go, now you get a treat. <laughs> I can roll over. Can you roll over? Tegan, yeah. sit. Coco, sit. Good job. Let's, all right, Reese, let's see a rollover. Yay. He rolled over right into Tegan. And did Tegan care? She didn't really care, did she? Because Tegan's your friend. Sit. Good job, Coco. I don't have enough hands, Reese. There's three of you and one of me. Uh -oh. What happens when I um, give your treat to Tegan? That's not good, right? She's going to be Down. sick. Yep, so we'll make sure we get Reese's treat for Reese. Okay, let's see. Fast down. All the way, all the way, all the way. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you got puppy kisses, and so did Coco. Because Tegan got too excited. Here you go, Coco. Sit. Very nice good game job. to play with puppies, Mary. Very <laughs> nice game. They did a really good job. Here. There you go. Good, can you give nice. Can you give Tressa a treat? This one's for Tegan, this one's for Tessa. Now give one to Tegan. Oops. Okay, now you gotta share one with Tessa. Because you're gonna do sharing. Oh no, there's one more. Okay. Is sharing okay. important? So do you have any more dog facts for us that you've learned by having... Oh, yeah! What are your dog facts? Well, you don't want to put food... You don't want to give my treats to a dog. That's right. Why don't you want to do that? Because it will might get sick when it eats it. Yeah. And it has to go to the vet. And that wouldn't be good for Tegan, would it? No. You're visiting at Aunt Mary's house. Yeah. Whose treats would you go find for Tegan? Her. Yeah, you'd ask Aunt Mary for the special treats for Tegan, right? Exactly. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. But I like that, and the dogs like it. Because you know what? Work is good for all of us. It's good for us to do something for when we get rewarded. So if you're doing sit, doesn't mean every single time they sit, they get a treat. But you might do a sit down, sit down, stand, sit down, stand, or you might do a sit down, down, stand, sit, down, mix it up, and then a treat. Or you might do sit, treat, and then sit down, sit, treat, or sit, stand, down, sit, and treat, down, treat. So mix it up, have fun, have fun. Make training a fun thing for both you and your dog. Mary, could you give her some eyes while she's on down? Sure. Tegan, eyes. Look how nice you do. Good girl. Tegan, eyes. And Mary, you're just feeding her baby f puppy food. I mean, yeah, this, this is, is just her normal food, no treats, just regular food that she'd be eating during the day. So you're using Sit. you're using her food uh -uh. as the treat, no. and she's perfectly nice. happy with that. Good girl, she is. In fact, um, she doesn't know that this isn't a treat. Yeah. Well, especially if you're hand feeding her. Well, exactly. Who doesn't want to be hand fed? <laughs> <laughs> After all, good girl. But hand feeding does something else too. Take it here. Take it nice. Thank you. Good girl. Is that it teaches the dog not to take t touch your hands to their teeth. Take it nice. Good girl. Good girl. So she can take it with just a gentle little bit of her teeth, which is very nice. And you want that. Wait. Wait. Take it nice. Thank you. So Jody, Good this. Job puppy is quite the beggar, as you can see. Are you a beggar? Yeah. She, um, she begs for food when we eat, and obviously she can't have people food. At 11 weeks old, absolutely no people food. You can sit. Very nice girl. Um, but even when she wants her treats, like right now I don't have a treat in my hand. She's looking for the treat. How come you're not giving me a treat? Look, I'm sitting pretty. I'm begging. I'm doing what you told me to do. Usually when I sit like this, I get a treat, Mom. Exactly. Exactly. But they can learn things. Watch this. 
Okay, we're going to work on leave it. And what I've got is I've got a handful of treats and one. Leave it. Good girl, yes. So this is a handful. Leave it. Leave it. Good girl. So she has to make the choice to leave the hand with all the yummies. Leave it. Good girl. Good thinking. Leave it. Yeah. What has your dog taught you? Tegan has taught me that every dog is different and you need to love them for who they are. You have to be kind and loving and understand that you can't expect one dog to behave exactly as another dog did. Come on, come on. <laughs> Send her back, we'll get a few. Okay, go see mommy. Go come see on. mommy. Good job. Good job. Tegan, okay, check Tegan. it. Come Tegan. on, Tegan. Where's Jody? Where's Go get Jody. Go get Jody. Yay. Good job. <laughs> And talk about how you clean with a <laughs> puppy trying to interfere with sleep. Hi, Tess. We're going to play Leave It. Leave It. Good girl. You've played this before. Leave It. Good girl. Good choices. Leave It. Leave It. Good girl. Okay, I'm going to try a new one with you. Off. Off. Good girl. So when you put the treat by the nose, off. Off. Yes, good girl. Do you see her back her nose off? Mm -hmm. This is the beginning of off, of off training. Off. Yes. And you can mix up leave it and off. Okay. Leave it means, leave it means, I have a handful of treats here. I have to have a choice that's different, okay, for me. Off means back my nose off and sit down. So, Linda, I heard Daisy's been ha hanging around with cats a little bit more than you want her to hang around with cats. Right. We have four cats and... She likes to go on top of them, and they're not ready for that. Well, and think about it. She's so much bigger than the cats. Just her chest is bigger than the cats. Look what I have. Yes. Oh, Daisy. Mm, what do you think? I think they smell good, too. Want to smell these? Oh, Ooh. yum. They smell like blueberries. Daisy, look at this. I know. Okay, Daisy, we're going to teach you something new. Off. 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 There you go. Okay. All right. So we're going to do two things. We're going to do leave it and off. I usually pair opposites because it attaches to the dog better. It gives them something to reference back and forth. So this is leave it. Leave it. Good girl, Daisy. Good girl. You can have it. Yeah, chew it up. Yeah, good girl. So what you do is you have a whole handful of treats here. Okay. Right? But you can see how small they are, right? It's not even one treat. And you offer it to her. Leave it. And she has to make the choice to go to the oh. other treat. Okay. Leave it. So you show it to her, then close it. Yep. There you go. Good girl. Good leave it. Good girl. Okay, so here, I'm going to give them to you. Mom's got them. All gone. Go see Mommy. Daisy. Daisy. You can lure her. Come here. Look. Look. Oh, Mommy's got them. Leave it. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. So what she's doing is she's got this big pile of good smelly stuff. She wants to make the cho she has to make the choice to take the smaller one. Okay. So if you say leave it from the cats, she's got to make the choice to come to you. And then I give her a treat. You can, or you can, in the beginning, yes. In the beginning, yes. Look. Give her the treat. And you have to say leave oh, it. It's okay. You don't have to worry about it. Just, just keep it I'm learning too. You're learning it too. Of course <laughs> you are. So offer her the hand. See, Daisy, she's leave it. Oh, isn't that fun? <laughs> isn't that fun? Yeah. Give her, give her the hand again. Daisy. Now the lower you go, the more she thinks it's hers. Leave it. So I want to go. It's low okay. Well, the lower you, no, you want to go low because she's used to being able to eat off the floor. Okay. So the lower you go, the more she thinks it's hers. Okay. And, and just, just like um, a lot of kids, she doesn't generalize really well. So she, you have to teach her from here, this position. That position's different. The floor is different. And then you move it okay. all over the place. So yeah, give it. Okay. Leave it. Oh, this is her first time doing it. Look at how yeah. smart she is. Good job. Okay, oh. so that's going to be really important with the cats. You're going to have a really good time doing it. I'm gonna, give me the treats back. I'm going to show you another one to work with on her. Okay? Oh. Now, she's not a jumper. I know no, that. Daisy, look what I have. I got the goodies. I got the nummies. I do, I do, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, off. Off. Yes, good girl. Did you see what she did? Watch. Off. Off. Good girl. Okay. Okay. Off. Good girl. 
You can, oh, I know there's puppies over there. Did you see what she did? Yeah. Okay, so off is different than leave it. Off means back my nose off. It means I'm taking my nose off of it. Now, these are baby foundation steps, okay? Because off then means getting off the couch. It means getting off people. It means getting off the cat. Okay. Okay? But you want to use leave it first. So it means getting off... So for the Sit. cats, I want to start with leave it. I would work with leave it, yeah. And yep. then when she gets that, then go with off. Off, yeah. Okay. Sit. Good girl. Off. Ah, 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 off. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, we're going to leave it. We're going to play leave it now. Leave it. Good girl. Wow. And you can see that's two words. And people think they only learn one at a time, but I found that teaching them to leave it. Yes, good girl. You knew that game. Here it is. Leave it. Good girl. Okay, we're going to do off. Off. Oh, what a big girl. <laughs> see, she's got them both. Yeah. You know, and you can have all of these. You want the nummies? You can have them all. Reward. <laughs> there you go. Good girl. Nice job. Nice job. Um, question for you. Yeah. I've been trying to teach her off when she's jumping on something. Uh, is that confused? That's going to be confusing to her, or should I change my command for the get her off of jumping on things? Or off means back up, get off. You like if she's a jumping on a couch or or people, I've been uh, saying it works off. really well for off for people because it means take my nose, okay. back it off, and sit down. Okay. And you can't be jumping on people when you've taken your nose and you've backed off, right? Right. You can't do that. For the furniture, I usually say that we're, we're going to go to the next thing, which is on and off. Okay. Meaning off is get off of it. If it's jumping, get off, back my nose off and sit down. Off of the couch, off the couch, sit down. And then you can put her on and down right by the couch. Okay. So if she's snuggled on the couch, she's like, this is my favorite place. You know, if this is her favorite place and you're okay with it, no problem. Right. If it's not, you're okay with her and she's a no furniture dog, then off means off. Right. Off means get off of what you're doing, back your nose off and sit. Now getting a dog out of puppy play is pretty fun. Hey guys, hey guys, look. Come here, look what I got. Yes. Sit. Good job. Oh, you want to play too? Oh, sit. Up, Good job. <laughs> Tessa, you sit too. Thank you. Okay, Tegan, sit. Eyes. Very good eyes. Tessa, eyes. Very good eyes. Now, uh, you guys are going to share. Sit, uh uh, sit, no jump. And down, give me a down. Oh, very nice down, Tegan. And down, very nice down. Okay, and then we're gonna stand. Good stand. See how you do that? Yeah. And, T and, and Tessa, stand. Good. Oh, that's a down. And stand. Thank you for, for inviting me. Oh, you're welcome. Do you wanna come back someday? Um, I think so. Cool. I bet you live all the way in Florida. Yeah, I live all the way in Florida. Well, maybe when you come back to Aunt Mary's and I've got a TV show, you can come back and visit us. Would that be fun? Ooh, yeah. And maybe I'll send you the video so you can have the video at your own house. How's that? Yep. Pause Up for Success wants to thank Liz's Kitchen for the recipes that we use in our, in our dog training. They're easy to make. They're fun to make. Kids can make them. And we just appreciate all that she's done for, for people that have challenges in cooking. Our, our uh, traits are well respected and loved by the canine critters. So thanks, Liz. Thanks, Liz Kitchen. We just appreciate the recipes. We appreciate your help. And we appreciate you supporting Paws Up for Success. Thank you for watching Paws Up for Success. I hope we've changed some of your thinking and given you some new ideas to have fun with your canine. I hope children are more safe and I hope the community is more safe. Dogs are special. They're a great part of creation and I'm just so grateful that they're part of my life. I hope you're grateful they're part of yours.